Good morning, good morning. It's nice to see you all. Good morning, good morning, everyone. If you want to see how I came up with this eye makeup look, that's what I'm going to do today. Connie Murphy. Hi, good morning. This is Connie Murphy. I'm going to do a, believe it or not, a tutorial on my makeup. Now, I'm not a professional. These are just, you know, things that I come up with. So first of all, I'm going to Get a little sunscreen, just a dab, because you know when it's white like this, it's white and thick. Then I'm going to take my foundation. I still have some of this left. Let's get two fingers worth. And I'm going to mix it up. I hate how I look with glasses, but I gotta take them off to put this on. Put it underneath. I'll give you the color of this as soon as I'm done. I forgot to put my uh, Botox surgical tape <laughs> on my 11th last night. But uh, they still look pretty good this morning. Uh, maybe I'll just take a dab here. I only run it across the top of my cheek, my foundation or whatever I'm putting it on because it's darker under here, and that way I don't have to do, you know, the shadowing thing. Okay, and this is number 60. Then I'm going to take this, is it upside down? <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit what I call my concealer. I just use foundation for everything. I'm going to put a little bit here because this year was when I started getting bags. Now I just got up so they'll uh, subside. Put a little bit on my nose. Now, if I was going out at night, I might put a little thicker foundation. And also what I've been doing is, let me get this, taking this little pencil that I found at the 99 cent store, and so I can get real close into that fold, I'll put a little bit there. Is it sharp enough? <laughs> Just a tad. Don't know what it looks like to you girls. And I'll take some. Put it on the top. And the main reason I use that is, I don't know if you've ever had the problem, but when you go to eat something, the lipstick kind of goes down here. So uh, that kind of keeps it on the lip. And I don't like to have anything on my lips. when I go to put my lipstick on. Okay. Most of the time I've been starting my eye makeup first. 
But today, I am going to do my eyelashes. I haven't used waterproof for quite a while. Probably all this year for sure. But I still like to curl my eyelashes because they stick straight out. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. Do the other one. Got a little dry spot, probably from some of the skincare products. Don't really like that, but you got to deal with it if you're going to use certain skincare products. Okay, I'm going to put one coat of my favorite mascara, and it's almost empty. So I will be trying something else that a couple of you girls have recommended. And if and when I ever do another tutorial or get ready with me, I'll show you all the new things that I'm going to use. But I never want it to be said by me, oh, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Because that's certainly not true with me. So there's one coat. The main reason why I put a coat on first is because if it makes any sense to you, I call it a guideline. Now I'm going to use that method eyeliner that was given to me. Remember I told you the bottom was to make the wing. Can you see it? And then the top. I need that light. Was for the actual eyeliner. Look at that beautiful tip. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. So here I go. I'm usually sitting down when I do my makeup on. But I put mine, I start right at the very, very bottom. So I get the full length of my eye because I have small eyes. Then I take it up. Then I cross it over. Love this tip. Same over here, way on the bottom. Take it up. Cross it over. Now how easy was that? I'm even going to take one of this tip and go across the top. There you go. So I don't like this dip. So I'll blend them together. Now this isn't a 10 minute makeup and run out the door. I've got plenty of time. I'm going to the movies to go see Elvis. With my twin. And there you have it. Doot, doot, doot. Okay. Next. 
today I'm going to put on a little eyeshadow on the mobile lid. I use my white. Now I always see you gals put this on first, but I just don't see any sense in that because you're going to cover it up with the eyeliner. And it always looks fabulous when you girls are done. That's for sure. Okay. What next? I'm going to take my brown pencil. It's a dark brown. This is a wet and wild. Uh, here we go. And I'm going to go under my eyes. Under the eyelashes. I don't do the waterline because I don't want anything traveling in the middle. And I could have sharpened this a little bit. And this is a soft pencil, so I'm going to also take that and go right here. I'm going to go underneath my original eyeliner. That's my form of blending. <laughs> I'm a lousy blender. Just like that. And then I'm going to top it off a little wedge brush. I'm going to use a brown. And overlay it right there. Because in my opinion, that will make it last all day long. Kind of like setting your foundation with powder, I think. Take it up there. Switch my brush. Put it on that pencil line that I did. Go over the shadow. I take it over the eyeliner just to soften that black a little bit, a little bit. Then I'll switch it around. <laughs> Take that same color brown. As you can see, it's almost empty. It's just a little LA palette. Tap that in. I've been tapping lately because I don't want to have any more drooping skin there. That may be possibly coming in the not too distant future. <laughs> I know it looks dark, but that's the mood I'm in today. Okay, dokie. I'm going to put a 
another coat of mascara on. And I told you that I had tried a new mascara. I can't put the new mascara on first because it just feels so wet. And uh, it would probably straighten out my eyelashes that I curled. I gotta curl them because they're thin and straight. I'll let that dry a little bit. And I'll put on the new one. It does darken up the lash a little bit and add a little length in there. But in the meantime, I'm going to line my lips. You know what? Put my glasses on first so I can see what I'm doing. My lips are getting a little harder to do now. Since they're getting a little bit wrinkled and moving. <laughs> yeah, let me get some a Q tip, a Q tip. Yeah, lots of dry skin thing going on. Okay, now I'll add that new mascara. This is the brush. I just don't like the way it feels. And also the brush kind of feels like it's going to collapse. It just feels soft. I'll add a little bit down here. dab up here. And that ought to do her. Now I had received, you know, this eye method blush in this nice little container. And uh, I've actually been using this color a few times, even though it's on the orange or uh, peach side. But as the day goes on, it looks more and more natural. So I kind of like that. And it stays. Oh Lord. That's my sister. She asked, she asked me to leave her a text and I did. So I don't know why she's calling again. But in any event, 
she just got back from Colorado uh, a couple of days ago. I talked to her yesterday. Did you notice it has a little brush on the other end of the little, little stick? She'll call my cell phone next for sure. There you have it. Now, because I don't want to, hold on. I don't want to go from here to my lips or vice versa. I am going to use a lip liner pencil. Yeah, and I'm gonna put some on my lips. I know there are some products out there To tell you to do that and I guess it's uh, formulated like that or you can do both of these steps with any blush cream blush I always try to make life simple for myself. I think that looks okay by golly. Now you notice I haven't done my eyebrows yet. And I don't think they look too bad, but I'm gonna structure them a little bit. And I'm gonna use the same eyeshadow for them. I've been using a gray, but today, I don't know, I feel like using brown. Maybe because I have the orange blush and lipstick on. And I just put it right down the center of my hairline. take the residual, go down here, go down here, then I'm going to take some of that off, kind of just fill in a little bit right here. I don't want to have that real heavy uh, eyebrow structure there. I just kind of want to go a little bit underneath. How's that? Okay, I could probably stop right there, but I've got this mineral powder from my dermatologist. And uh, there's a sunscreen factor in there. So I'll put a little bit on my eyebrows. And that's it. Okay, once again, my name's Connie Murphy, over 70, still glamorous. Thank you so much for stopping by, gals. And for any of you new people, maybe you might consider wanting to subscribe to me. I truly would appreciate it. So have a fantastic weekend. It's coming up. And thank you so very much. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.